Hi, I'm Amron Adams. Hi, I'm Helena Richardson. And you're tuning into IAC TV. Today we are sat down with the infamous David Ayala. How are you doing, David? I'm good, man. <laughs> <laughs> Pull it back, bro. Ajala. Ajala, sorry. It's all good. David Ajala, I've been corrected here on IAC TV. It's all good. Um, actually, David is a rising talent. Um, David, I remember you um, coming up in Trex and Flipside. Jeez. How was that, man? Talk to us about that. That was a throwback. Oh. That, that was uh, 2008. That, that was fun. That was crazy fun. Was it, that, was it that long? You looked a bit different back then. I know. You I had braided. hair, <laughs> if I, I remember correctly. Yeah, yeah. Expensive hair. You know? <laughs> no, 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 I paid for it. It, okay, it was really okay. cool. It, it was like a hip-hop's answer to Laurel and Hardy. That's okay. what it was. And how, I, mean, how was that, I mean, how was that experience for you? Because that must have been one of your first kind of yeah, I think acting experiences. It was, it was the first kind of main featured part I had on the TV series. You know? okay. It was one of the leads. It was great fun. I, re I really, really, really enjoyed it. And um, it's a shame you didn't go to the second series. But no, it is. Because I, 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 mean, awesome. I, I really enjoyed it. Yeah. I don't know about you. I, know. I, I really, really enjoyed it. I mean, um, obviously since then, You've moved on to much bigger and better things. I've heard, man. I've heard uh, Oh, no, well, we've heard. Um, <laughs> talk to us about The Dark Knight. The Dark Knight was, it was a weird sort of um, experience because literally I got the phone call from my agent to go in for it. And when I auditioned for it, they didn't tell me it was The Dark Knight. They said it was, it had an untitled name. I think it was a coded name. It was called Rory's First Kiss. So I've auditioned for it. And then the next day, my agent called to say, yeah, I've been offered it. And I thought, cool. I'm working on a feature film. And then she called back a week later to say that um, they've done their research and I'm actually going to be working on the new Batman movie. And the day after that, I went to these stunt rehearsals with Heath Ledger, Christine Bell, and Chris Nolan. So within a couple of days of that conversation, I was rehearsing with these guys and yeah, that it was That must have been awesome. quite a shocker for you. Because that's a big move with like Heath Ledger. Yeah. I mean, I, next I, to that. I didn't really know who he was, yeah. to be fair. I mean, cool guy, lovely, lovely guy. <laughs> you know, I had no idea. I heard it. Um, <laughs> David did not know um, who Heath Ledger was when he jumped on to the Batman movie. Yeah. Great. Here's what we really got David on about. Um, massive, massive film coming out this year. Fast and Furious 6. Is it? Am I, am I, am I in <laughs> <laughs> Well... Talk us through every part of that. I mean, how did you even, you know, get in the realm of these of, guys? Okay, so uh, the casting director, her name is Lucinda Sison, lovely, lovely lady. Um, she cast me for The Dark Knight. And then uh, many years after, I've gone into audition for Fast and Furious 6. I mean, when I got the phone call, it was like, wow, they're doing six? They're still going? Yeah. You know, <laughs> so I just, I went in for it and I did the audition. Didn't hear nothing of it. And then afterwards, um, they called my agent. And I, I was doing a play at the time at the Royal Court. And then I had to go into the studio to meet the director, the producer, and the cast and director. And we spoke in the room for about 20 minutes, like really relaxed, like how we are now. And then I put myself on tape. And then uh, three weeks went by. I was working on other things. They called and said, yeah, boom. And they said, you're part of the franchise. And that was it and I signed up and I'm there. It looks that's, like a really crazy. fun movie to make. Like the cars just look like they're having fun. Like I follow the Twitter when they were like tweeting that they were doing like location shots yeah. and stuff. Like what was it like working with them and sort of with great. all the cars and stuff? I, f I felt like I was part of this big gang who owned London. Because <laughs> we took over everywhere. Like wherever we went, yeah. we shut it down. They went to Piccadilly Circus, they shut down the whole of Piccadilly Circus. I heard you did like Wembley Stadium as well that like got shut down. Filmed in Hackney. Shut down Hackney, filmed in um, near Waterloo Station. They just shut everything down. So I was just, um, I was just along for the ride, man. I mean, for those who don't know, um, tell us about the character that you play. Uh, okay, I play a character called Ivory, Ebony and Ivory. <laughs> <laughs> and Ivory, he's he's um, he he is. I mean, the director was really cool. He just let me do what I wanted with the part. So I'm a Brit in it. Where does he sit in the whole um, kind of scheme of the film? Um, in, in the scheme of the film, he's in a rival crew to Vin Diesel's crew. Okay. And he, um, he just works with the crew, does a bit of driving, a bit of shooting, you know, I mean, I'm really it's cool. I'm, I'm in it. Yeah, <laughs> I'm I am. The, film, the last song was really good, yeah. so this one must be... I think, honestly, in spite of myself, and just not saying it for the sake of saying it, I think this one is going to be the best one. 
I've have read you the seen full any script. Have you seen any of the others? Have you seen any of the others yet? Uh, no. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't seen In any fact, of them? You know what, yeah? <laughs> Justin, if you ever see this, please forgive me. And Vin, sorry for name dropping. Any of you guys ever see this, please forgive me. I only watched the fifth one after I got offered the gig. I think the fifth one is the best one. Yeah, yeah, I think I agree with you yeah, yeah. Well. Yeah, yeah, this one's going to be yeah. better. I've seen the script, I've read the full thing. Some of the action sequences are ridiculous. I think the crazy part about Fast and Furious is um, that they continuously have to top their stunts. Yeah. yeah. Continue. I mean, from, from the first one to now, the stunts are just now ridiculous. Yeah, I mean, yeah. You is. know, in fact, they had like, you know, a car dropping out of a plane and all this kind of craziness. Yeah. Um, can you give us a little bit of a, of a taste or of what um, we're what For we're stunts wise, yeah. Yeah. I, I think there's, for, for fight scenes, there's, there's one of the best girl on girl fights I've ever seen. That's with Gina Carano and Michelle Rodriguez. <laughs> like, it's just, okay. it's, that says it's it all, great. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's brilliant. <laughs> well, I, think, I think I'm going to have to. Um, and, <clears throat> no, check it. Get a preview of that. <laughs> What's Tyrese like? Cool. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I, mean, I was waiting. He was, um, <laughs> no, you know, Tyrese, at, at first, I mean, like, he was kind of not there with me, and I thought maybe he was staying in character and being method mm. because. Oh, no, his character's yeah. like a bit, a like bit like his, quiet. His, his character is directly my rival. Mm. You know, I'm the, I, I, I'm the, I don't know how I got cast for this, I'm the cool black guy in our crew. Uh, yeah. okay. And then Tyrese is the one in, in his crew. The cool black guy in their crew. Yeah, yeah. so uh, we're kind of rivals. So I wasn't mm. too sure if he was kind of sussing me out or whatever. But afterwards we were cool. We were vibes in on set and um, yeah, he, he was singing songs. He wasn't serenading me. But uh, he was he was singing songs. Well, so he's actually what singing what his songs on set. No, on set. Yeah, because he, he's making his new album, oh, and he was just okay, asking right, me right, what, right. what what did I think? think of what. I was like, yeah, man, it's um it's all right, man. But I think my vocals will help it out a bit more. <laughs> but no, he's cool. He, he's good. cool. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's good to hear. I mean, I'm really looking forward to Fast Six. Mm. Uh, yeah, I man, it should be cool. Much, man. Um, should be a good film. But. Tell us what you've moved on to now, because I mean, obviously, Fast Six. When did when was that film? I, I filmed that uh, la, middle of last year, nine weeks. Okay. Last when is year. that coming out? Is May twenty fourth. Okay. May twenty fourth. That's quite soon. May twenty fourth. Yeah. Fast and Furious Six. The plug-in, Fast and Furious Six. Um, so yeah, what have you moved on to? I've I, I've just finished a film called Start Up. Start Up is a term given to a juvenile prisoner moving into an adult prison. Okay. It's a great prison film. Um, it was a really, really good cast. I've literally just finished working on that. That was tiring, but it was, it was worth it, hopefully. And then after, I'm, I'm doing a, a movie with um, Vertigo Films. It's a sci-fi action thriller. Okay, what's and, that um, called? It's untitled. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, we're not allowed to um, find out that what one. it's called yet. But yeah. it's a sci-fi thriller. Yeah. Sci-fi must be a bit different, though. Yeah, it's, 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 so, it's like... Um, more futuristic mm. meets action and guns and, and military and it's, it's American based yeah. story. So I'm, I'm doing that and then um, uh, I, I'm re really happy about this one as well as the other. I've been confirmed for another film, it's a studio film, it's a Warner Brothers film. Uh, I, feel a, I feel an exclusive coming on. Yeah, coming man. Oh, that, that's it. It's, it's a Warner Brothers <laughs> film. Uh, it's, it's, uh, <laughs> okay, we, it's, is that uh, what we get? Yep, yeah, it's a Warner Brothers film and it's... it's uh, very big studio film, and I'm, I'm very, okay. very happy to be on board for it. Again, it's, it's just the part that, look, I went in for it, and then I met up with the guys, and it just worked out. They saw the vision, I was happy to do it, and then, yeah, so I'm, I'm preparing for that. Do you live here now, or do you... Uh, I'm, I'm here, no, I'm, I'm, I'm London, I'm, I'm London all the time, but I will, I have to do a bit of travelling, and for that, I'll have to travel and whatnot. Okay. But, um, you know, for it's just juggling with the work I mean, everyone's kind of like moving out there now, and yeah. you know, it's kind of it's happening, isn't one it? One of those things. Yeah, it's a bit, it's a bit of a shame now that our Brits aren't kind of staying here. Yeah. yeah. And, and like you. Yeah. You know, I um, mean, it's, I, I go where the work takes me. I think. You do. I think there's no there's no reason why I have to forsake the UK for the US. You know, me, I'm greedy, so I do the two. <laughs> you know. Well, good man. I mean, why not? I, I wish you the, the best of luck, man. Thank it you, man. sounds like your, your career is really on the rise. Mm -hmm. Long may and continue, man. I'm don't grateful. be a stranger, man. We'd love to have you back here. Tell I, I, I want to hear a bit more about that Warner, that Warner film. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Defo, yeah. soon. Soon. It'll be, um, yeah, I'm, I'm sure it'll be known. 
soon. But I can't say anything about it. I'm very excited about it. I'm really, really looking forward to it. Hopefully we can give you a little review when we watch Fast and Furious 6. Yeah, yeah. And that, tell you what we think about it. Yeah, yeah. Let me know your thoughts. Well, listen, thank you so much pleasure. for coming on the show. Pleasure. Man. Really, really thank pleasure. You. Pleasure, Missy. Mm -hmm. Listen, and that's it from IAC TV today. Um, me, Amron Adams. Helena Richardson. Uh, thank you for tuning in. Uh, get at us on Twitter, at IAC TV. Um, David's got a Twitter as well. You might as well plug that. Let's see. <laughs> yeah, I am, but I need to use it more. <laughs> <laughs> it's <slightly laughs> adornment. Um, it is, I am David Ajala. It's funny because someone, I remember I, I met up with um, this director who I was working with and he's Nigerian and I said, I've slightly got used to westernising my surname. So I go, David Ajala. He said, no, 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 Ajala. And he gave it all of that. <laughs> so whenever I say my surname, I have to heighten it a bit with a bit of a Nigerian twang. Why yeah, not? Stick, Stick to your, to your roots. Roots. David Ajala. <laughs> okay, guys, thank you so much. I at TV, stay tuned. Take care.